Hello everyone, Professor Manuel Gadi here. Um, I'm preparing this video or series of videos with the whole process to put together a website with a form and a machine learning model uh, next phase. So we start this video here by going to pythonanywhere.com and if you don't have an account, you can go and sign up with pricing, sign up and create a beginner account here. You will need to, to fill up the form and you also need to go and confirm your email. Once you do that, go to logging and logging. You can, after logging in, you can click on the snake here and then you will see your dashboard. First, we're gonna go to web. And then if you already have a web and you want to repeat the process, you can come and delete the web here at the bottom in the red. So you come and have no web at whatsoever. You only in the free account, you only allow to have one web. So uh, we need to have no web here if you, if you want to build one. So you go here, click next. Do, you do not need to upgrade. We're going to use Flask. Uh, we're going to use Python, the highest Python you have here. So if you have Python 3.10, 3.11, pick that one. I'm going to pick Python 3.8. Uh, and then you can go and say uh, next right here. When we're talking about web development, this is the back end where we reload the page. If you right click on the on your user here and say open in a new tab you're gonna have your front end so you go there and see hello from flask that is your front end so I'm gonna use the term refresh the page right here so let's go back to the back end you can go files and then you can click on my site here and in the Python web page here's where your flask here so I can say hello from Manuel I save it, reload it, and I can go back to the front end. And if I refresh the front end now, I get hello from Manuel. Right, this is the first part. Now, our web page is very simple, too simple. We want to make it more like this one, like a pretty one that we can change and so on and so forth. So, for that, guys, we need to go to a website called Bootstrap. Bootstrap free templates. Bootstrap is a HTML CSS uh, framework where every, well, it's where people, the designers, they create like nice websites. So if we click in startbootstrap.com, that's the web we're looking for. And we have several bootstrap frame um, uh, websites put together here. We can unclick the pro. So we go only with the free versions. And here we have the grayscale. This is the one we need to download. So can you go and go right here and you can click here to, to view the preview. So this is the preview of the page. This is obviously hosted somewhere, but we need to, we want to host it in our own web. So we go back here. I don't want the, ad the advert. And then free download. So you get the zip file. And right here I can click and in Windows I can go and show the, the folder, but you don't even need to go there. So don't open if you're using Mac computer. We're gonna do everything on, the, on Python anywhere. So what we need to go is go back here inside my site so you will click in my site here so oh if you don't know where you are you can always click on the on the snake and then click on files and then click on if you click on files there you can click on my site right here you may have less things than i do in the previous image right here we need two folders templates and static they need to be at the same level here so we need a templates folder so please type templates in plural that's the private folder for flask wait a 
second for it to be created. Right, we are inside the templates folder. Good, we need to get out of the templates folder, going back to my site. So please click on my site here so that we can see the templates folder right here because both templates and static should be at the same level. They should be inside the My Site folder. So static and hit New Directory. Good. So we can go out. And static is the, is the public folder. So we want the HTML to be inside templates and everything else, JavaScript, CSS, images, to go inside static. But from which site? From the one we just downloaded. So what I will do is I'm going to go open file here and then go to downloads and the start bootstrap grayscale dot zip should be there. Should you be using a Mac computer, maybe you need to zip the file yourself because when you download it, the file gets unzipped sometimes automatically. So what do you do? You go with Finder, find the file, find, go to Downloads, right click and say Compress the file. So you say Compress. So before this, you go at the bottom there on a Mac computer, Use Finder to go to download, find the folder, and then compress the folder. Right, and then you come back here and upload the start bootstrap zip file. Here's the file with the zip file and everything. So now what we need is to unzip this file and put the files in the right place because they come in a, in a different sort of order there. So how do we do that? We first, we go and say open bash console here. But before hitting here, uh, I would like to come with you to consoles and make sure that, that you have no consoles open. So click here. If you have any consoles open, hit the X button. So close the consoles and then you can go back, files, my site, and then stay here, one in, inside my site where you can see the start grail uh, ghpages.zip right here. So then what you do, you click on open bash console here. Will take a few seconds. Right, what do you do? You can list the files that you find there with ls enter. And then it says start bootstrap, static, and so on and so forth. We need to unzip the start bootstrap. So how do you unzip? You click on, you write unzip space, and then you say S-T-A-R. And you, you can write the whole thing, or you can copy and paste it. But if you pay, if you press tabulation, that is in most computers just below, um, just uh, side with the Q here, it auto completes. So you just hit tabulation, the arrow that goes right, right, it auto completes so that you can press enter. And that will, if you press ls now, you should see both the start bootstrap folder and the start bootstrap zip file. We're not going to need the start, uh, start bootstrap zip file anymore but we need to go inside the start bootstrap grayscale. So how do we do that? We change directory, cd, start bootstrap. We go inside, hit enter. ls, here is the set of files we have there, index, and then all the rest. So we need to move things around. So we need the index, we need to move the index to dot dot, that is one folder below, that means my site, because we are now inside the start bootstrap folder, so we need to go one site, one folder below, so then we put back uh, forward slash, my site, not my site, sorry, um, templates, and templates slash, and we hit enter, that moved to the index to the right place, now we need to move everything else, that's a star, by the way, 
to one folder down static static and we hit enter <clears throat> make sure you do these things in the right order first the index then the rest because otherwise the index will go together to the start folder to the static folder and we don't want that right we finished we completed the task now if i do ls i shouldn't have anything anymore here so i can say exit exit to go out and i can go now back to files my site and flask app.py and right here i need to import the index so what i will do is i will do render template and then in render template i will do i will rename this guy as index and i will say render template make sure the spelling is correct and you have all the um, data all the correct naming here is index.html so now what do we do we save the file make sure you save it then you reload the 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 website right here you don't run it you reload it, the page okay reload it good and once you reload the page you can go back to the front end that we left open remember that is your user.pythonanywhere.com and you refresh the page you should see the page like this the page has all the information but the style is not applied very good we close to the to here what do we need to do now we need to go to my site should you have problems like you close by accident the front end you can always go to web and right click again here and open in a new tab so leave it there so if you close by accident very good so now let's go to files and on files my site templates here in the index.html is where things have to be changed so right here remember we moved all the files that were in the directory there css javascript and so on and so forth we moved them to inside static so we need to put the word static right here and we need to actually to put this the word static in line 16 and then also in some other lines so everything works so where do we find it so assets assets are images so if we put static here as well so every time there is a word asset we need to change it so that is in line 16 of, in line 69 in line 79 in line 93 and then also on in line 198 where we have the javascript so with all this we can save it reload and wait for a few seconds and we have the grayscale so the only thing we could do here is we can change the word grayscale to your like revolute so for example we say revolute just so that we make sure in our web we have a different naming so we know if, if this happens don't worry you can wait and then you have the revolute very good we, you completed the first part let's go for the